Now that I have the design all done on my mitten, I am going to cut my mittens out. So when I cut my mittens out, I'm going to make sure that I'm very careful and that my, my alligator scissors are only crunching the outside. They don't want to eat our artwork up. So I'm going to first start by, I'm going to take these scissors and I'm going to cut right between my mittens so that I have two different ones, one on each side. And then I'm going to put one off to the side and I'm going to cut the other one. So I'm going to start by cutting along the straight part on the side. I can cut that piece right off. And then I'm going to cut this piece off. And then to get into here, instead of trying to cut all the way around the edge, it's kind of tricky. I'm going to cut from here and I'm going to go in until I touch that point and then I'm going to cut it off. It makes it a lot easier if you can cut it in little pieces like that. And then you can cut that line straight up again. And just keep following that line that you drew for the outside of your mitten. You don't want to cut inside of your mitten at all, just on the outside. Cut off all those pieces. Now I'm back to a straight spot again. I can go right down the end. So I've got one mitten. And then I'm going to put all my scraps out of the way. And I'm going to cut my other mitten. So I'm going to start with the same thing. I'm going to cut this edge, this corner piece off. And I'm going to turn my paper whichever way is easiest for me to cut. So I'm going to cut up this side. I can cut that piece right off so it's not in my way. I'm going to cut around the curve, cut it right off, and I'm going to cut this part right off here, and then I'm going to cut right into that little point again, just like that, and then I can cut this piece off a lot easier. Oh, it's still dangling a little bit. There it goes. And then I can cut this part, I'm going to cut right on these little bits on the edge, get all these little pieces off. And now I have two mittens. So I can take all my scraps to the recycle bin and I can very carefully hold my scissors the right way and carry them over and put them where they belong. Good job. 